Well, welcome back, Air Gunners. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. Well, I thought I'd get out the G2 and 22 today and uh, put some more rounds through it. I haven't had it out in a while, and I think, uh, I think I did one or two videos on it in the beginning. Again, you could look for those. They kind of give you the basics of the, of the gun. Um, but today, I just wanted to put some rounds through it. It's a nice day, and... Uh, Figured, why not? I think it's supposed to possibly snow again in a couple of days. So I want to take advantage of this time. And there's no way to uh, take advantage of this any better than getting out a gauntlet and doing some shooting. So today I'm going to use the Barracuda 18s. Um, I seem to like those pretty well. So, and it seems to like them pretty well. So we're going to use those. Today we have the Axion 4 to 16 scope on this. And again, the Axion scopes are not only good quality scopes, but they're pretty affordable for what you get in an actual scope. So check those out as well. Um, this rifle, just so you know, was sent to me by Lethal Ear. And if you're looking for anything, go to the Lethal Ear website. I'll put a link below for that. Uh, you can talk to Chad and, and let him know what you're looking for. If you have questions about what you're looking for, he's always a good person to answer them. Uh, he's not only a great shooter, but he's a great hunter as well. And so he can answer all those questions. Again, and if you don't see something on his website, call him. Because he could probably get it. It's just not on his website. So, um, again, he can talk to you about uh, getting whatever it is you want and what that will cost you. So, please check him out. And, uh, again, he's a good resource for, for the air gunner world. All right. So, today what I'm going to do is this. I'm, I have the, the uh, target set up at 40 yards, which is what I usually do. It's a two inch splatter burst target set on a paper plate. And we're just gonna take some shots through this and, and see where we're at. I, I have it filled up to eh, just about 4,000 PSI. I never fill guns up 100% because again, you know, you wanna make sure that the, uh, the spring, the hammer spring is, you know, working 100% and that the first three or four or five shots, you know, aren't gonna be much different from one another well they will be much different from one another if you fill it all the way up typically so i don't fill it up all the way to make sure i get rid of those first few shots uh, that tend to be at actually a lower um, speed because there's so much pressure built up in the tank once you relieve a little bit of that pressure shooting a few shots usually that hammer spring can be more consistent and um, again you'll get you know, you'll get tighter groups basically from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to turn on the camera for the target. Uh, I'm not going to keep you here while I do that. I will break from this, go do that and come back and we're just going to send some rounds through. I'm going to actually feed the pellets in one by one uh, because I like doing that. You know, again, I'm, no, I'm not in any rush. Uh, you know, at the range when I used to shoot high power rifles, you know, when, when people are shooting off 50 rounds, I was pretty happy with shooting off five rounds and just making sure they're hitting exactly where I want them to hit. So I'm going to feed them in one by one. And, and you know, again, we'll see how many we'll take. Ten for sure. Maybe we'll go more than that. And uh, just have a little bit of fun. So hold on. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm back. Let's sling some lead and see what we're going to do here. Again, the camera set up 40 yards. And uh, you'll get a, probably a better picture of what's going on than me. So let's get to it and see what happens.
the only problem with feeding them in one by one. Sometimes you get them flipped upside down or reversed or whatever. And again, did it. But again, the reality is, magazines sometimes can throw a pellet off. So we want to try to avoid that. That was five. And besides the first shot, pretty much going through the same hole. A big hole, but the same hole. That was me. Got a little bit of wind. So, so far that first shot Again, and I don't know why it went where it went. Sometimes too, you know, I recommend just getting the first shot off. Blast it into the ground. Then start from there. Got two more here. why that one dropped a little bit it shouldn't have but it did all right so there's ten shots besides two the first shot being high and the second to last being a little bit low um, again, not too bad. I think uh, eight of them, eight of them, six of them went through the same hole. Two of them are just slightly off of that. And again, that first shot and the second to last shot, who knows? One went high, one went low, but that's just shooting. You know, it just, uh, sometimes it doesn't make sense. We don't know why things do what they do. Uh, I've been in indoor ranges where, um, you know, everything is perfect and you're zeroed in. And then all of a sudden, you know, things just seem to drift a little bit. Who knows why? And then as you're talking to everybody else, they'll say the same thing. No wind, no anything. Who knows why? It just changes. And again, that's just shooting. So there we go. Again, uh, if you haven't liked this page yet, please click that button below. Please go to the Shooter Zone on Facebook and like that page as well. Um, and again, as always, shoot lots, be safe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care now.